I pocketed the letter and paperclip. The paperclip was perfect for the job. There was definitely something in there. Now, what are you gotcha? Well, would you believe it? It was a gun, and very likely the one that had been used to shoot Henri. Aha! So, what have we here? L'Américain, Monsieur Stobart. You will rue the day you crossed my path, because now you are caught in my net like a little red herring. Inspector, I'm investigating the robbery. No, monsieur. You are breaking and entering an innocent storeroom. I found the murder weapon. Found? No. Planted? Yes. Mou, arrest this man and take him to the station. I shall squeeze you, monsieur Stobart. Until your pips squeak. Thanks, Ronnie. I just wish I'd got some better shots of the killer. Are you kidding? That stuff from the head is very dramatic. You did good, Nico. So, what's next? the owner and you've got Sunday's front page. I'm on it already. Keep me up to speed. Let me know before you write anything up, okay? Of course. Oh, gotta go. Someone at the door. Monsieur? Are you Nicole Collard? Yes, can I help you? I need to sit down. You'd better come in. Would you like a glass of wine? Yes. Those stairs are a nightmare. Hmm, that's better. So, what can I do for you, monsieur? My name is Tiago Marquez. I saw your report on the robbery. I found your address. I came straight away. I needed to see you. And why is that? The stolen painting, La Malediction. It belongs to me. Ronnie had wanted me to interview the owner, and now here he was. Or rather, he was somebody who claimed to be the owner. So the stolen painting is yours. Tell me more. La Malediction belonged to my family in Catalonia, in the 30s, before the Civil War. So what was it doing here in Paris? The fascists stole it in 1938. They killed my father, but not me. I escaped. I have been looking for it ever since. You have to help me find it. Tell me about yourself. I am Tiago Marquez, the rightful owner of La Malediction. What else is there to tell? You traveled all the way from Catalonia? No, since the war I've lived in France, in the southwest. And now I want the painting back. Did you lose all your family in the Civil War? When they came for us in 38, I fled with my mother. But my father was not so lucky. I'm sorry. I would have stayed and fought for freedom, 
but I was just a boy. You've got my attention, but if I'm to help you, I need more to go on. I have something. This old photograph. It is of me and my family. See the painting above the fireplace? Yes, it's La Maledicio. The photograph certainly appeared to link the old man to the painting. You took the photographs at that robbery, huh? I did, yes. I need to see them. Why? Please, I must see them. All right. Here they are. Mm, this shot didn't come out too well. It's perfect. Perfect? Finally, la maledicio, in all its splendor. The lines, the color, the detail. It's been so long since I've seen it. Then take it. That shot is no good to me. Really? Thank you, mademoiselle. Here's the thief making off with the painting. What is that tattoo on his arm? Looks like a skull and crossbones. Headhunters, hmm? You will find him. And then you will find my painting. I can try, monsieur. You must, mademoiselle. This is the best shot I took. They used it in the paper. Yes, it is how I recognize La Maledicio, my painting. It does look like the one in your photograph. So close, but now it is lost again. This one was rejected. Georges got in the way. Typical. Who is this George? Just a friend. He insured the painting. So, he will know who is this liar who claims to own my painting. I don't think he does. He would have told me. Marquez's story was very interesting, but I needed to corroborate it. I wondered if the gallery kept ownership records. And while I didn't wholly trust him, this was the one lead that I didn't want to lose. Where are you staying? What? Nowhere. Here, perhaps. I didn't want him to stay in my apartment. There was another solution. My neighbor is out of town for a few days. You could stay there. Yes, that would be good. Thank you. Great. Let's go. Adam said that he would leave the spare key under the mat. My neighbor had left a key for me under the doormat. Which reminded me I hadn't watered his plants for a week. The key wasn't there. I put the doormat back. I was pretty good at popping locks with I was pretty good at popping locks with plastic I didn't want to leave before I'd set up I had no there was no fire That was There was a glimmer of metal from between the floorboards. The gap was wide, but not wide enough for my fingers. Y 
Using the sticky chewing gum, I was able to fish out the key. This will do. Glad it's up to standard. I have to go out, monsieur. Ronnie had promised me the front page if I got an interview with the painting's owner. And he was a crazy Spaniard claiming to be just that. I needed to find out who had put the painting up for sale. Maybe there was more to find at the gallery. Len was sitting outside the cafe. He looked dazed. Hello, Monsieur Lin. Ah, the delectable Nicole Collard, super sleuth. How may I be of service? I was hoping I'd find you here. Always available for a lovely lady such as yourself. Henri's death, it must be so very hard for you. Yes, I shall miss him deeply. We had such a very special relationship. The loss is so hard to endure, even for a man of such inner strength as myself. What do you know about the owner of La Maladic Seal? That was Henri's business. He found the painting and did the deal with the owner. Would anybody else know anything about the owner? Not likely. He kept especially quiet about that one. But he always kept a manifest for every exhibition. I'm writing a follow-up piece on the gallery theft. Ah, so you need an inside view. Authoritative. Something like that. The police have finished in the gallery. We could chat in the office. It's much more comfortable. More intimate. I might even be able to rustle up a little bottle of champagne. Maybe later. I have some things to do first. Maybe next time, then. You mentioned a manifest. How would one get a look at that? One might start in the office. That's where Henri kept most of his paperwork. About the gallery. Of course, my dear. We can go there now, if you would like. That sounds great. We can discuss my ordeal over a glass of champagne. A cozy chat with Lane was the last thing I wanted. But it was my best hope, if I wanted to get a look around the office. So, what are we waiting for? After you, my dear. The place was heaving with junk. Finding what I wanted wouldn't be easy. As Lane sat down, something stuck out from beneath the cushion. It looked like a folder. Whatever it was, the police had missed it. I needed to get it. Come, join me on the couch. I'm ready for you. You will be gentle with me, won't you? Oh, I'm never gentle, Monsieur Lane. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Do call me Hector. Lane hadn't noticed the folder. With that amount of padding, who would? The only way to get hold of it was to distract him. Monsieur Lin? Hector, please.
I see Henri had a statue of himself. Yes, for a man of high... A Nevertheless, I shall miss him. We were like family. What will happen to this place now? Henri's widow will decide, poor soul. She may find it in her heart to keep me around. Oh, I'm sure she will. So you really don't know who owns this up? I'm sorry, my dear, I really don't. Is there anything you can tell me about the painting? It was an absolute treat to come across it. A true, undiscovered gem. There's no denying it is a fantastic painting. What can you tell me about the religious significance? Of course, there is a deep religious symbolism locked within the painting, too. Central to this must be the Pantheon of Saints. Oh, Hector. Perhaps I will join you in that glass of champagne. But of course, champagne, nature's balm in troubled times. To new friends! To love! Oh, mon dieu, that is so cold! Oops, silly me. I am so sorry. I'll have to dry this off. Don't you worry, my dear. In the folder was a list of all the paintings in the exhibition. The Maledixio had to be there. It was. And next to it was the owner's name. Mr. Madovsky. The police had obviously not spotted the folder. I put it back. I had what I needed for my story. Monsieur Lane, thanks for everything. But I think I hear my editor calling. Ma chérie, no need to leave so soon. It, it's only a little spillage. <laughs> 